Thank you for tuning in, and before we get started today, I want to remind you to push that subscribe button, hit the like button, and ring that bell so you can be notified every time I post new content. Now, let's get started with today's episode. America Eats and Drinks TV with me, your host, Johnny Hops. I've got another great beer to review for you on this great review show, and it is hearkening back to one of my original favorite styles of beer, and that is the stout. That's right, man. I have been a big fan of stout since the beginning of my official craft beer drinking journey. Guinness Stout. When I first tried it, I was not a fan of stouts. I know I was not. I was living in Atlanta at the time, man. This is back in 1994, 95, uh, that era. That's where I got turned on to craft beer. So you want to subscribe, you want to like, you want to follow, you want to know where I'm going to be, you want to hear more of these stories, you definitely want to check it out. You want to hang out, you want to subscribe, you want to buy the membership to hear all the unedited stories, all the unedited versions of the episodes. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and get back to the business at hand. But this is the Coffee Break Stout. And of course, it is a coffee and a stout, so it's a coffee stout. Comes in at 5.5% ABV and 28 IBU, so it's kind of in between, you know, it's not too bitter but it's not you know it's like and i do believe oh, i hate that i cannot remember the name of the coffee shop but it's right across the caddy corner across the street here it is a local coffee shop and they do get their um coffee they collaborate with them for the coffee look it up it's on first avenue in opelika alabama but anyhow i'm getting back to the beer here at resting pulse brewing company it's definitely got a very, very strong coffee stout aroma to it. I like that. I really do. Yeah, it's going to be coffee. Um, I'm hoping to get a little chocolate and a little cocoa along with it. So let's go ahead and give it the old taste test and see what flavors are mixed in with the coffee on this Coffee Break Stout. That's good. Oh, yeah. Of course, you're going to get that coffee flavor first because, I mean, it's in the name. It's a Coffee Break Stout. But then, just like I was hoping, man, you get that, that rich chocolate flavoring that hits you right in the back mouth, Bill. That is good. It hits you right there in the back of your mouth. Very good, man. It's sweet. It's got the bitterness of the coffee. Why? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to say bitterness. Um, bitterness of the coffee, the sweetness of the cocoa, the chocolate blend together perfectly. But anyhow... And that is a damn good beer, man. I love it. It's not too heavy. Um, I want it to be smooth. I want it to go down creamy. I want it to be a little bit of coffee, a little bit, a little bit of chocolate to it. Of course, I'm going to review Imperial Stouts, okay? Some I'm going to like. I know I will. And some I'm not going to like. I know I will. And that's just like with any beer that I review and any food that I review. And that's why you need to review, you need to subscribe. You need to hit follow me. You need to hit the like button. You need to, you know, friend me, subscribe. You need to hit the bell to be notified of when I post new content. I love this Coffee Break Stout. I love this beer. I highly recommend it. I give it five pints up. That's right. Five pints up on the Coffee Break Stout from Resting Pulse Brewing Company right here in Opelika, Alabama. Come and check it out if you ever find yourself down Opelika or Auburn Way. And I've got more breweries, more distilleries, and more bar and grills here in Opelika that I'm going to be bringing your way, and not just here, but all across America on America Eats and Drinks TV with your host, me, Johnny Hops, coming at you.